friendos, it's Adam Oshie again. So in today's video, I'm going to be making some fursuit eyes. Um, this is going to be for Carrot 2.0 and I'm going to show you the materials that I'm going to be using to make his uh, follow me eyes. So they're, they're going to be 3D follow me eyes. So what I usually do is I start out with drawing the the eye shape that I want on paper and pen and just getting the general idea of how big I want the eyes and the, the shape that I want how big the color part I want. I like to have them pretty big. I try to get them uh, as close as I can to Najee's eyes. He's back there behind me there. Um, so because I like to have a lot of, you know, I like to have really good vision in the suit. It's very important. So after I trace that, I'm going to use some craft foam to trace it onto. You, you know, you got your pen and trace it onto the craft foam. This is just a piece of scrap that I had. And then you're going to cut those out. <laughs> and after that, um, I will paint up the eyes on some mesh. This is uh, what I got from Fursuit Supplies. And when I made a carrot, the first carrot fursuit, I used these little tubes of acrylic paint but um, and use these paint brushes to paint that on there but honestly this time I'm going to be using these paint pens that I found and I'm gonna see if that works out really well uh, for Najee's first suit I used this green like neon black light green paint so I got that and then after it's all nice and dry on the the mesh I go outside and paint or, or spray over uh, the eyes with some clear coat so that way it will help lock in the uh, the paint and hopefully if it did get wet um, it won't just smudge and ruin the eyes and uh, obviously you're gonna be once you assemble the eyes you're gonna have to or the mesh part of the eyes, you will need to have a glue gun, a hot glue gun and some hot glue sticks to glue it all together. And also I used a ruler to help with measurements and making sure that the little strips that go around the eyes are nice and even and straight and everything. So yeah, that's, some of the, that's the materials I'll be using to make these fursuit eyes. Okay, here I have a template that I drew out of Carrot's eye, the shape that I would like to have. And then I'm going to trace that eye template onto some craft foam. And then when I'm finished with the tracing, I will cut it out. Including the middle part of the eye because that's where the mesh uh, part will be. Okay, and I'm going to cut out the template for the colored part of the eye so I can have an accurate shape of how big I need to draw on the mesh for the colored part of the eye. Put scrap foam underneath it to help uh, stabilize it and to help the paint not uh, bleed through so much. This is a paint pen that I'm using. I really do like it, but it does take a long time to make sure it's nice and saturated. And now I have a template for the black part of the eye. And I use a black paint pen to color on top of the blue part there. Like I said, this does take a while to make sure it's nice and filled in. Alright, these are the templates for the white colored part or the white part of the uh, uh, the eye the eye shine 
so this uh, pin because it's I guess why it's going to uh, the colors underneath are going to show through it so I had to do several layers over and over and I had to let them dry in between as you can see you can kind of see the black part on that one eye that's finished there it's not quite saturated enough with the white paint so I'm just going to continue adding some layers So eventually I just had to uh, get some acrylic paint and scrap piece of upholstery foam and just kind of dab it on there and so now they look so much better. And I'm going, I'm going to take the blue paint pen and just touch up and as, as well with the, the black one. Making sure that they fit and then cut them out. Alright, so I'm going to take my, you know, template for my eye again and trace it on to some more craft foam because I want to double up the foam to give more durability to the eyes themselves because Carrot 1.0, I did not do that and his eyes are very flimsy and after like a year, year and a half, uh, his eyes are starting to kind of bow inward, the, the mesh and the, the foam. So. I'm going to give it more durability by doubling up the foam. Making sure that it fits and then now they're ready to be applied. give it a little glue on the outside edge to help secure it. You have to be patient with the glue. Just gotta let it completely dry and make sure it's nice and secure. Alright, so now I am going to be uh, making some strips to uh, go around the outside edge of the eyes to give them some depth, which will give them that 3D follow me eye effect. So when you move your head wearing the fursuit head, it looks like the eyes are following you. And I'm also going to double this foam up as well, give it some durability. And then I'm going to cut it in half because I don't need it that big. So that way I have two strips for both of the eyes. And then I'm going to glue the strip around the edge of the eye. but you have to be very patient and go really slow so it can glue down properly. You don't want to rush this at all. If you want it to look proper and to um, be nice and secure, you gotta go slow. Plus you don't want to burn yourself. <laughs> Make sure 
sure that it's all nice and secure at the edge there and then you just snip off any excess that you have and secure the back along the edge there where the two strips were glued together of just making sure they're nice and you know secure in the back and basically just do the same with the other one Trying to also keep it clean, uh, not put too much glue, because you don't want, uh, as you're securing the, f the two pieces of foam together, you don't want the glue to just squeeze out and kind of uh, make it look messy. So don't, it doesn't really need a whole lot. Yeah, the corner of this one kind of gave me a little bit of trouble, but I managed it in the end. Make sure it's nice and secure, and the back as well. And uh, there you go. There's some fursuit eyes. Alright, so that's what the eyes look like, all nice and completed. So I love these. They've turned out so good. I love this shape, and I love how big they are. They're going to be you know, I'm going to be able to see out of them really well. <laughs> so anyway, that's uh, how I make my fursuit eyes. And hopefully they will have that follow me effect once they're actually inside the, the foam uh, head. So anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. See you later, alligator.